keep it right along track with the labor shortages theme here, and they don't just stop at regular nine to fives. They're now impacting ski resorts, and with the clock ticking on the start of ski season, what are these resorts going to do? Joining us now is Director of Communications at Ski Utah, Allison Palminter. And Allison, why should people come work at a ski resort? The ski industry is one of the most fun careers that you could possibly transition into right now, and now is a great time. Any, Just about any job you could do from your hometown, you can do at a ski resort, and then you get to ski and snowboard in your downtime. What could be better? Yeah, it is a pretty sweet gig there. All right, so, so that is definitely the upside, right? You get a cool experience. You get to work in the great outdoors. Having said that, many other industries, they're also experiencing a worker shortage as well. So do you think it's a financial issue? And, and if so, how are you combating that? You know, it's hard to say what the cause of the labor shortage is, but um, we here in Utah are excited to open for the season and are on track to open regardless. So um, we're just excited for the season to start, really. Absolutely. And I assume you have a, a core group of people who will always come work the season at ski resort because of the skiing and the scenery as we mentioned are there enough of those people or, or how do you attract those who are looking for that but maybe also more money you know just about every resort is offering employment incentives just like every other industry um and we are really on track to opens regardless uh but we definitely encourage anyone who has been considering a move into the ski industry to do it now um I think people would be surprised by the diversity of jobs available at ski resorts from electricians and welders to spa and beauty technicians to cat drivers, snowmaking, um, accountants, janitors, just about any job you can have anywhere else. You can have at a ski resort. And again, who doesn't want to ski and snowboard on their breaks? That's right. Are you doing anything this year to maybe sweeten the pot a little bit more to, to help recruit more people to come work? Uh, I encourage everyone to check their local resort or their local Utah resort to see any employment incentives there. Cool. Hey, what does the ski season look like if you can't maybe fill all the jobs? Is that gonna is that gonna have a, a, a negative impact maybe on on what you might see out there on the slopes? You know, right now we're on track to open normally, so uh, guest experience shouldn't be compromised in any way. All right, thank you very much. That was Director of Communications at Ski Utah, Allison Palmentier. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Marissa, you've got the ski forecast, and mm -hmm. it's not looking too bad over there.